hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add columns in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go in Microsoft Planner, you can organize tasks using buckets because there is not a direct feature to add traditional columns like in a spreadsheet or database here in Microsoft Planner. Again, with using the uh, buckets, which is effectively function as columns in the Planner interface. For you to be able to do it, uh, you have to make sure that you are logged into your account. You have the necessary permission if you are working with a collaborator. And hover to the left hand panel of your dashboard and click on my plans in my case i'm going to be choosing this plan right here i'm gonna click on it and for you to be able to use like a column function all i have to do is go to the board section right here you see we can delete this for now all right we can add a new bucket all right so for example this is going to be like column one Add a new bucket like column two. And for example, this is going to be like column uh, three. Depending, of course, on your... And you can... From these columns right now, you can add task right here. As many tasks as you can. Obviously, each task, you have the option to put in the... Uh, you see, the bucket name is column one. All right, and of course, you can put in the uh, progress here, like completed, medium, and a lot more. Now, on the notes, you might want to make sure that this is uh, considered as right here. So that the uh, check an item. So every collaborator within the plan here would know that this is going to be for column two. And this one is going to be for column three, right? And of course, make sure you're reviewing the plan on the board view because that organizes the task into columns or buckets. Because if you use the schedule or the grid, you're not going to be able to do that right here. All right. And of course, by using the buckets as the uh, somewhat your columns, you can create a customized layout that suits your project's needs, whether you are tracking progress, categorizing tasks, or of course, managing multiple work streams. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.